Well, me and the son are over at my shop. We're um, welding on that trailer frame repair we're doing. And I hear a confounded noise coming from back behind the woodshed. Walk a hundred yards away and lo and behold, I find my son-in-law with his, L, his L3301 Kubota, uh, with a loader on it, of course, um, running our homemade fire takeoff driven wood splitter. So he's back here just splitting wood like a, like a good man should, you know what I mean? Getting ready for winter. Let's take a few minutes and we'll, uh, we'll watch him work pretty hard. I highlighted this splitter before in the video, but uh, it's mostly a homemade, homemade amalgamation of uh, just uh, industrial parts and farm equipment parts. Uh, you know, built it like 38, 39 years ago, might be 40 years ago by now. So uh, it's got a little rod knocking, got a, something coming loose up here, might have to take a look at that. But um, yeah, those son in laws back here doing a bang up job, boy, I tell you what. Here's a little bit, it's fresh, fresh split. He's got tossed in here. Give me something to do one of these rainy days when I ain't got nothing else to do is stack this in here. And some of this wood's been cut, you know, a couple of three years or so, you know, so a little bit of the sap wood is uh, getting a little bit rotten. And um, we do have a tendency to split our wood a little smaller than normal because like say our, our lady folk, you know, pretty much keep the, uh, keep the wood fires going. So the bigger the pieces, the more they do not want to be involved with firing the uh, the furnaces. So yeah, we're uh, we're lacking a little bit. Both of these are supposed to be full by this time of the year. The one that we're going to be working out of is that one there that's partially empty. We uh, heated out of that at the tail end of last winter. So that's where we'll start up this winter. I tell you what, now I can get kind of lazy watching uh, watching him do all the work for a change. It's pretty nice. I got my son over there welding on that project. Um, my daughter was in my other shed changing oil for herself, and uh, I dang my son-in-law's out here <laughs> splitting wood for me. Well, I tell you what, do I, do I live the good life or what? Now, if you notice over here on the right-hand side, he's tossing some of this uh, nasty wood. Uh, that's our, our nasty wood that's going to be burned out in the sheds. We don't put anything that's real nasty uh, take up space in the woodshed. Uh, we just burn that stuff, just that nasty old pithy uh, old wood. We burn that in our shop stoves. He's got a nasty piece there. A lot of the wood we got, or wood that we get, comes from uh, tree trimmers and stuff. So you see a lot of real, real weird shapes and real weird cuts and angled cuts and everything. You know, we don't have any, you know, control over that. The uh, tree trimmers, they just gotta do what they gotta do to get the, you know, the trees out of the people's property to make money. And they drop it off to me. I don't care what it looks like. So uh, we get some pretty gnarly looking stuff. And we get all kinds of fruit woods and, and just everything that's somewhat undesirable. But it doesn't matter because if it's, uh, if it's made out of wood, there's, there's some heat in it. Uh, just varying degrees of, of uh, BTUs per pound, so to speak. Yeah, I'm kind of getting used to watching him do all the work. I think we need to do this more often. But uh, he's got a ways to go to get them two filled up yet for me. And um, here's a pile over here on the left-hand side. I twist around a little bit another small pile here and then we got a large pile of actual logs back in the woods uh, and then we got a pile of logs for the sawmill too so at any rate this was a pleasant surprise to have the uh, son-in-law fire up the old Kubota and hook onto this normally we run this wood split with one of the old antique tractors but um, uh, he likes that Kubota and you know I like I say I think I did a comparison between that one and one of my old Massey Harris's 30s uh, about a 1951 or 52 and pretty much decided the basic difference between that old antique tractor of mine and, and this sweet deluxe brand new one was the fancy paint, you know. Well, that and a little bit of hydraulics and, you know, a little bit of power and a little bit of agility and, and of course, four-wheel drive. You know, just subtleties like that. But everything else other than that, um, you know, basically the same thing. Y'all know I was just kidding, right? <laughs> there we go. I had to get him straining a little, little bit, getting that one big old boy up on there. I tell you what, you remember when we were kids, there was a Wonder Bread commercial um, that compares uh, Wonder Bread to uh, Splitting Wood. Yeah, because I tell you what, there's a lot of similarities because both of them build strong bodies about 12 different ways. So at any rate, I think I, hopefully I got the sun along the background over there. 
And uh, this is just a quick little video, uh, side, getting sidetracked away from my welding project. I heard him back here, so I thought I'd run back here and take a quick look, see, and uh, so at uh, any rate, pleasantly surprised. He's doing a good job. I just hope he does a whole lot more of it in the wintertime right around the corner. You know what? This is Cracker Man 44, and I am out of here.